What caused the Falador Massacre bug? The iconic event from 6th of June 2006 has been one of the most discussed days in RuneScape's two decades. Being named one of the best bugs in MMO history by PC Gamer, it's also the only in-game happening to have its own section on Wikipedia. Cursed used 99 Construction Party that took place 9 minutes past midnight on the 6th of June UK time was the centerpiece in what led to the infamous bug. But despite popular belief, what caused a small group of players to have PvP enabled outside of the house remains a mystery to this day. In fact, all the Jagex moderators working to prevent the bug from happening again couldn't identify the cause of it. They did know the bug abusers carried a PvP variable from the house's PvP challenge mode. But exactly how this was enabled outside of the house remained unknown. To fix it, content developer Mod Ash disabled PvP in the entire game until Andrew Gower could take a look at it the morning after. But even Andrew was unable to discover how the bug was used, and instead built a new system entirely for the game to constantly check where the player is located in the game. In this way, if the game notices a player has PvP in what's meant to be a safe zone, the PvP variable is automatically removed. Players have since accepted the theory that the combat ring was the cause, and being expelled whilst inside it would let you keep PvP enabled. Some have also theorized the scrying pool is responsible, assuming you were scrying when you were expelled. However, both the most known bug abuser, Duriel321, and a second abuser, Bia Zodiac, would, in the hours after the event, claim they were both in the Greater Magic Cage in the throne room when being expelled, not the combat ring or the scrying pool at all. Now, the code around construction and the PvP variable has been heavily changed since June 2006, meaning there's no way to say for sure what exactly caused the Falador Massacre. But after reviewing the construction code from August 2007, being the one old school RuneScape is built on, we can make a guess that there is a fair chance the bug was caused by very specific circumstances when two actions were activated in the same game tick cursed you expelling and a separate player sending the accounts trapped inside the cage into the dungeons. Cursed you was online for a long time and thus his action would be prioritized, meaning after they got expelled, the game would still attempt to send the players down into the dungeon. But instead, seeing there was no longer a dungeon to enter, it completed the other half of the action and applied the PvP variable they would have gotten if the dungeon was there, allowing players like Yeti90, RuneScape Go1, Jonathizzle0, BA Zodiac, and Duriel321 to attack whoever they wanted. During the chaos unfolding in Remington, it didn't take long before the community managers on Night Shift responded to the player moderator's reports. But in 2006, it wasn't as simple as just ban the PKers. As the players attacking were still in combat, they couldn't be logged out, even if it was due to an account ban. As such, the JMods were unable to do anything but encourage players to run away until the PKers left combat for more than 10 seconds before attacking a new target. Interestingly enough, Duriel's infamous massacre was a result of sheer luck. Had he teleported to Edgeville, or tried to hop to take down the busy trading hotspots in World 2, or even climbed a ladder, he'd likely have lost the PvP variable given how it was coded. But Duriel simply ran wherever he wanted to go, and thus kept the PvP variable stuck to him throughout his evil plan of slaying unsuspecting players in Edgeville. Forum threads, videos, and screenshots were the hot topic in the following days. People were either angry about losing their items or tried to claim items they never even lost. As a result, and due to the technical limitation at the time, Paul Gower made a post in the afternoon of June 6th, announcing there would be no rollback or item refunds, apologizing profusely for what had happened. Duriel321 remained banned, with a personal note made on the account by Andrew Gower to ensure it would never be let back into the game. This didn't stop the account owner from continuing his RuneScape adventures, however, playing on a secondary account called Azenboy763 for the next three years, before leaving the game sometime in 2009. Wherever he is today, I do wonder if he's aware of the legacy connected to his old gamer tag. And whatever caused the massacre bug, the cause is likely still buried in the game's code, protected by a fortress of checks to ensure PvP remains away from the game's safe zones.